today in math, we're going to be talking about two-dimensional shapes again. So we're going to get to learn some more words that have to do with two-dimensional shapes, and we're also going to get to look at open and closed shapes. Devin wants to sort these shapes. So do you see these shapes right here? He wants to sort them um, to show a group of triangles and a group of rectangles. So draw to show how Devin sorts the shapes. Now, before we do that, I want you to be very careful because what word should go here? What's one group to sort of them in? Rectangle. So the word rectangle should be on this line. What word should be here? Triangle. Very good. Now, there, I'm going to draw this rectangle under in the rectangle box, okay? But notice, first grade, what shape is this? It's not a shape. It's not a shape. Because, because it doesn't, it's not finished. It's not finished. This is what we call an open shape. shape. I kind of like to think of it as a fence. If you put your animal in a fence, is your animal going to get out? No. Yes. Yes. Why? Because, because it must finish. Let the gate it's open. Like a, it's like okay? a green. So, you do not want the gate to be open because otherwise your animal is well, going to get it's out. It's like a deer like you found that you have to turn it here. Okay. This shape, is this shape open? No. This is what we call closed. Because did you close the gate? Yes. Yes, you did. This is a closed shape. So it is a shape. Okay. So that's very important. So are we going to use this shape? No. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's not a shape. It's not a shape. It's not a rectangle. It's not a triangle. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shapes here. Should you have more than eight shapes down here? No, no, no you should not. Okay, and in fact, you might have less because they're all different shapes. No, no, because some of them are half open. Some of them are all open. Them are open. Okay, go ahead and get out your top color page. What did you write for your first group? Rectangle. Rectangles. So you should have wrote rectangles or triangles, either one. So don't erase if you wrote triangles, because if you wrote rectangles over here, that is okay. You just need to look at this box. Okay? So how many rectangles did you end up with? Okay, this one and this one are rectangles, so you should have drawn them exactly how they were drawn. Except, do you guys remember when we talked about the cube and the rectangular prism? And the cube is a rectangular prism. Okay. Do you guys remember that this is a rectangular prism, but we can also call that a rectangular prism? Do you remember that? Uh -huh. So this is a rectangle, and this is a rectangle, but what other shape could I also call a rectangle? A square. The squares. Because the definition of a rectangle is it has four sides. So what else do I want you to draw in your rectangle box? The squares. Okay. Also, first grade, remember how we talked yesterday that... <coughs> Um, 
that just because my square is rotated, does that mean it is not a square? It's still a square. It's still a square. It's just rotated. Okay? So, we need to be careful with that as well. Okay? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Oh, so how many shapes do we have here in our rectangles? Four. You should have four. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next one. What... Um, what category did you title the next one? Triangles. triangles. So you should have written triangles. And remember, just like with the rectangles, if you put triangles first, that's okay. Just look at the triangles box. Okay? How many triangles did you end up with in your triangles? Two. Two. You're exactly right. This is a triangle. And this is a triangle. Okay. Now, in our story, it says that this is how Devin sorted these shapes. Okay. So he sorted these shapes with triangles and rectangles. But he could have sorted them in a different way. How else could Devin have sorted his shapes? Okay, very good. He could have put open shapes over here. So this one would have gone down here. This one would have gone in here. And it's not and not opened. What do we call it if it's not opened? A closed. Thank you. If it's not open, then the gate is closed. So then all the rest of these would have gone in my closed box. Okay? You are exactly right. We could have done an open and a closed um, um, group. Okay? How else could I have sorted these shapes? Okay, very good, by the color. So I could have had blues in this box. I could have had reds in this box. Okay, you're exactly right. Um, was there another way that we could have sorted? So the rectangles are that long triangle, and the other rectangles are like all long, and then the other ones are short. Okay, I like it. We could have had long shapes, and then short shapes. So we could have sorted it by size, right? You guys are exactly right. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on today. I want you to turn your paper over. And we are going to talk about a few words that are very important. Here it tells us about a square. Let's read that together, please. A square is a special kind of rectangle. So what does a square have to have in order to be called a square. No. What does it have to have in order to be called a square? It has to have four sides. You are exactly right. Also, what is special about all four of those sides? Not necessarily, because this could be a rectangle. Is that rectangle smaller than my square? So not necessarily. What has 
to happen with all of my sites. Oh, it doesn't have to be flat? Well, yeah, they do, because otherwise it's not a square. But what? Oh, um, they have to be put together. Well, they do. That's right. You're right. What? Hey? Thank you. They all have to be the same size. I don't care how big it is or how small it is, but all of them have all of the sides have to be exactly the same if it is going to be a square. If they are not the same, what is it called? A, a rectangle. Okay. Very good. Okay. Blank and closed shapes. So all of these shapes are closed, and all of these shapes are curved. curved. Okay, there's or you could have said circles. So there's two features to every single one of these shapes. Could I have said that they're all purple? No. Why not? Because they're not. They're not all purple. One of them is purple, but not all of them. One's purple, one's okay. green, one's blue. Are these circles? Yes. yes. Yes, they are. Remember, C I says I R says <laughs> er, L E says oh. So we have circles. All of these shapes are curved and closed. Do you see how they both have or have both of those things? All of those shapes. So that's what we're going to try to find today. Okay, all of these are triangles, triangles because they have, they have three sides. Because they have three sides. Remember how we talked yesterday that tri means three. Okay, so all of these shapes are closed. Shapes with blank sides. You could put flat. You are right. You could put three. So I want you to put three sides. Okay? They are closed shape, shapes with three sides. Does everyone see where I pointed to the sides? This is one side. See that? This is another side. Where's the other side? On the, on the other side. It's that flat part right there. That is a side. I need three sides to make a triangle. Okay, let's look at these. What are these called? Rectangles. Rectangles. Even this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Are all of these shapes closed? Yeah. Yes. They are closed shapes with blank vertices. Okay. Let's talk about vertices. Do you know what a vertice is? Um, the corners. It's the corners. You are exactly right. The corners, see what I'm circling? Those are the corners. How many corners does it have? Four. Does this one have four? Uh-huh. Yeah. Does this one have four? Yeah. So what are we going to write here? Four. four. So do you see how vertices mean something different than sides? So could I have put my triangle in this group? Why not? It's not a it doesn't have four vertices. You are exactly right. 